Boom. Hey, we're gonna watch some Caesar Milan. I haven't seen some Caesar Milan in a long fucking time. So let's just get at it and see. Tonight on Caesar 911, Caesar gets a call for help from comedian Jerry Seinfeld. Hey! How you doing? I'm beloved by millions. Come here. Except for one dog. The hostility. That I don't deserve. And his other dog has its own set of issues. When the doorbell rings, Jose will go crazy, just barking, 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 barking. Why she called the dog Jose? <laughs> Yo, she named the dog Jose. I think my next dog, I'm gonna name it Jerry. So imagine her screaming outside for her lost dog. Jose! Jose! She fucking switched up to Spanish. Hey, I'm missing Jesus. Don't do that, Jesus. <laughs> this is Caesar 911. Caesar receives a call from good friend and comedy legend Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry informs Caesar that he's having problems with his two dachshunds, Jose and Foxy, and one of them in particular is creating an issue in the house, and it's no laughing matter. Hey! How you doing? Really good, man. You look great. So I, I hear you're in New York. Yes. Look at me. Three coats, two shirts. I am in New York. You're a little girl. <laughs> I told you I have these two little dogs. Yes. And I'm um, having a little problem. You said you're going to help me. What's the problem? Problem is uh, one of the dogs intensely dislikes me. She'll she'll let me near her if she's with someone that she feels safe with. Right. But she also doesn't like any other adult males either. So she won't like me either? Well, uh, I don't know if you're that much of an adult. <laughs> that's true, that's true. <laughs> All right, well, I can stop by. Great. I'm here. Come All right. Over. Let's do it. I'll see you in a few. OK. Looking forward to it. I'm beloved by millions. <laughs> Except for one dog. I find Jerry Seinfeld funny. His comedy is, is, is different, is unique. I like my one of my favorite is Bill Burr, but I love Bill Burr. Um, it, Jerry's not bad. He's funny. He's a funny guy. He's just I don't think his comedy kind of evolved. He kind of stuck with what he does. You know what I'm saying? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Fucking ads. This is the one? Oh, this is the good oh. one. Oh, this is the this one. This is the good son. Jerry said, this is the good dog. I can't wait to see the bad one. She's terrified. She's trembling. Well, what do you think I should do? She's so, she's a wreck. Uh, you have a leash? Yeah. Let's put a leash on. OK. After our cats died, I thought I wasn't ready to get any more cats. So we got dogs. And little dogs, because little dogs in New York City are, are a lot Easier. In the city, you can't have big dogs. I don't like large excrement. Doesn't suit my lifestyle. We first got Jose. Jose has always been very affectionate. He loves being a Seinfeld. And that's the kind of people we like. We like people. Is that borderline racist? Fuck calling your dog Jose. I don't know. I'm, I'm quite, it's kind of hitting me a certain way right now. I'm not going to lie. No, you keep calling this fucking dog Jose. That's his fucking dog's name, but it's it's like it's it's ah, uh, it's hurting me a little bit. <laughs> the older I get, the more sensitive I've been. I've been, I've been tortured. I've been usually hardcore. Nothing really hurts me. This doesn't hurt me, but it's like um, uh, we don't give a fuck. But it, I don't know. The older I get, 
Certain things bother me. <sighs> Let's see. But this is not bothering me too much. Let's go. Letter with the program. But he has a lot of energy when the doorbell rings. Jose will go crazy, just barking, 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 barking. <laughs> and then we go outside, and then he starts barking at everyone who passes us by. <laughs> Woo! Wow, what a well-trained dog. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> I don't know how to make him stop. So we thought maybe he seemed like he needed a friend. So we got Foxy. When we got her home, she definitely seemed nervous. I thought any dog likes who their owner is, assuming the owner is basically functioning. Food, walking, playing a little bit. Fox. I assume that. I was wrong. Foxy and I have a good relationship, but she has no interest in being friends with Jerry whatsoever. Fox, come here, Fox. The minute Jerry tried to go near her, she would just you know, run away or hide. You go over to her to be nice to her, to pet her, and she takes off. Foxy, come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Say hi. I'm pretty disappointed that, I, that there is no gratitude at all. He looks fucking sad. He's like, damn. I brought you fucking dog, and you're fucking running away from me and shit. I'd be pissed off. Like, what the fuck? I mean, I brought your ass. I'm feeding your fucking ass. Housing ass. Like, get the fuck over here. Of course, she doesn't understand that I'm the one that's paying for all this, obviously. <laughs> you see? That's how, that's how our, our, us men think. You see what I'm saying? Like, yo. <laughs> yo, you see? That's how men just think right there. See, that's beyond her little marble brain capacity. But the antipathy, the, the hostility, that I don't deserve. At this point, we sort of don't know why we got her. And that's a terrible way to think of an animal. I think that Jerry, at this point, has written her off. And I think there's a way to salvage this relationship, if not just salvage, hopefully make it somewhat better. Watch this. Okay. No. Okay. No. Well, the, the pupils are very dilated. Yeah, so she's terrified, yeah. Here's where I feel really bad, because this poor guy, Caesar Milan, who has fixed every dog he's ever met, he's not going to fix this dog. When he leaves, he's going to be in tears, because he's going to he's going to have to say to me, "I'm sorry, I, there was nothing I could do. This is a one messed up dog. This dog is a sick puppy." Hold her for one second well, while I get her leash. Okay. You never That's know. not going to help her. Okay. Actually, it's better. Oh, okay. Okay. It's better if you hold it than she holds it, because she's going to give affection, and you're going to ask her to face what she's afraid of. You know, in life, you have to face things, if yeah. we like it or not. Right. But if we stay away from it, we never really learn anything. Right. And so, so who's facing them, me or her? Her. Jessica nurtures her insecurity. Okay. OK. By being with you, you actually challenge the insecurity. Right. You know, so right. I know it's the opposite in the dog loving world because they say, well, she doesn't like it, that's so it's best if she stays with me. Right. But then you mentally never move forward. I see. Did so, you hear this, Jess? Yeah. If she spends more time with me, she'll face get over it. Yeah. Get over it a get little Get over it, right. But I can I can never get to, I can get to her this way. If yeah. Jess is holding her, yeah. then I can hold her. But she well, wouldn't let me. I'm gonna show either. you uh, I'm gonna show you uh, like ways where you can stop the flight. Right. So a dog that is insecure or fearful, they're going to flight, they're going to hide. Right. So how do we block the brain so the brain can actually move forward? OK. So we're just going to learn a little bit of that, and then you build on that. Fox is an insecure dog that finds it hard to bond with anyone but Jessica. And Jerry is feeling rejected and frustrated. I'm going to use the leash as a tool to help Foxy overcome some of her insecurities. All right, let's All go right. ahead and have a chat. Now, my goal here is for her just to move a little bit, just to make one, uh, one step forward so I can close the gap. All right, so here, we ju we're just going to ask very little. A little. Well, if you give affection right now, you're giving her affection when she's actually retrieving. Right. So your affection is nurturing the very thing that you don't like. When you nurture a dog's insecure behavior, you're only encouraging that behavior to continue. You're not helping it. 
Will you admit at this point that this is not an easy puzzle? Right, no, insecure dogs, just like insecure people, you have to build self-esteem before you actually help them to get rid of the problem. It's easier to rehabilitate an aggressive dog than an insecure dog, because at least an aggressive dog wants to be with you. Involved, yes. <laughs> He wants to be in your personal right. space. This one wants to be away from your personal right. space. See, Jerry thinks that this is gonna be the one <laughs> Um, no, it just no, thinks. No, no, now no. you know. Now you see. I knew. I knew. Now you I see. There's joking. not. Yeah, this the, is only. But it's tricky. There you go. This, this is a, a tricky little there. dog. The first step for Foxy is for her to take just one step towards me. Until she moves a little forward, then I can say the word that it means good girl. Okay, let's do it again. There you go, that's a good girl. Just the fact that she's moving forward. <laughs> there you go, there you go. There you go. Good there girl. you go. Yeah, that's a good girl. Yeah, that's a good girl. <laughs> yeah, that's a good, that's a good. There you go. You gotta unlock the brain. But once the brain realizes, all right, this tension doesn't mean harm. It just means to it just means for me to move forward in life. Right away, Foxy responded to just calmness, and it ended up being something that was exactly right for her. So this is all her decision right there. Right. It's just for her to face, to try to figure it out other ways. Then she learns, all right, this is what that guy wants. He just wants me to move towards him. That's all I want. And every time I move towards him, he celebrates. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm inviting her to come near my intimate space. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. That was amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Can you believe this? Foxy needed to build her self-confidence. Once we block her ability for flight, she had to face her fear of men. We started at three feet away, then we moved to two feet away, eventually one foot, then all the way to my leg. Yo, Caesar's badass. He's been, this is what I'm saying. See, this is a prime example of what I was saying earlier. I just want to be a writer. This motherfucker just fucks with dogs all day, man. And he's become successful from it. You couldn't really do anything you want to do. There is a building process. There is that time of struggle and strife and when you're building. I feel like I'm going through that process right now. And I know, you know things will come on. Hey, what's up, Laura Thomas? Yeah, I see your chat. How you doing? I'm good. Man, sorry, man. I wasn't even looking at the chat. I gotta get better at that. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, if you can, follow me and subscribe. Actually, I am beginning to stream daily. I'm just getting into it, man. Like, um, this is my new new. And uh, I, I'm just, I'm learning. My boys got me into it, my sons. Thank you, man. I appreciate the follow. I appreciate I appreciate the heart. I love the, the little heart there. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I am going to stream daily. Um, I'm actually going to want to stream tonight at work. I do security at, at work. So I'm going I'm to stream tonight between 10 p.m. to 2 in the morning. But I am going to try to stream during the day like this because my kids aren't here. You know, they're at school right now, so I'm trying to get the stream in. You know what I'm saying? You should just what to put some graphics studs. What does that mean? I'm new to this, so you man, you have followers, but I don't even have a Discord. I'm not even sure what the hell that is. I'm learning all this, yo. Um, I'm learning all about this. So my sons are coming back from Japan. In a couple of days, I'm going to ask them what the hell Discord. I'm going to YouTube it and figure out where Discord is and shit like that. And um, we can definitely, like, you know, grow from there. No doubt. No doubt. You follow me on Instagram, I'll follow you back. I can, yeah, once I get the joint. Let's see. Yeah, I'm appreciative for everything, man. Like, I just, oh, I just got you on here. Ah, 
I just followed you back, Laura. That's what's up. Yeah, thanks for following me. Yeah, like, I do gotta get better at posting and shit like that. And your work, dude, this dude is dope. I like that. All right, no doubt. What we gotta do is. I gotta get with you and and discuss the we'll do it we're doing an IG. We'll discuss an IG and um see where Yeah, you have some dope artistry stuff. I like it a lot. This fire. I like it. Let's definitely connect. You know what I'm saying? Let's definitely connect. But I appreciate you, man. I do appreciate that. Um uh, I'm gonna hit you up later. You know what I'm saying? What what time zone are you in? Let me know so I can, but anyway, no, I'm going to DM you, and we just DM each other, but your artwork is dope, I like that, I, I do need some more stuff like that on my, on my Twitch, even on my YouTube channel as well. No doubt, I'll, I'll DM you on IG so we can definitely talk about it, you know what I'm saying? But man, man, thank you for the chat, I appreciate it, because I've talked to myself for a long time, but let's get back into the video real quick. We're making progress. Okay, so don't pat her. No, yes, you can. Okay. Yeah, because okay. it's a reward. Uh -huh. She just went through a lot right now. Yeah. yeah. Come here. Especially if, if Jerry uh, rewards it uh, has a more a better effect. She expects for you. She trusts you more than he trusts him. So she so he should yeah. reward her. Yeah, there you go. I couldn't be in a better setup than this. I got Caesar Milan and my misbehaving dog. Yeah, it's like watching Roger Federer play tennis. It's just or, or watching Actually, um, you from Virginia? I'm actually from originally from Brooklyn, New York. Um, but I've been living in Atlanta for now for about twenty three years now, and so I'm I'm in Atlanta. If you don't mind, what you got? So, you, Laura, do you just scour Twitch to see, like, starter up? No, I got you. Like I said, I'm going to hit you up on IG once I'm done with the with the live and stuff like that. Definitely. No doubt. I got you. Let me finish up on the live, and then um, I'll definitely hit you up on uh, on uh, on IG to see what's up, uh, what's your work and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So... Uh, you know, Mario Batali Cook. It's just like, this is a beautiful thing. Caesar is making progress with Foxy's insecurities inside the apartment. But when you hit me up, um, probably when I get to work. No, I'm not going to forget. Probably more second when I get to work, because after this live, actually, what time is it? I gotta start working on dinner. I gotta cook for the family as well. So once I do this, I cook for the fam. I do have to take a nap before I go to work. And then once I get to work, before I start the new live at work, I'm gonna hit you up. It's gonna be a little late if you don't mind though. Maybe around 10 o'clock or so. All right. Um, if I can try to do it earlier, no, I can't because I'll be traveling. But um, yeah, between about 10 o'clock tonight, I'll hit you up. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. We're discussing the IG and um, see what you could look like and. Yeah, that's dope. Let's, let's, let's do it. For real. So let's connect. Do you scour um, Twitch to see, like, you know, starter up people like me and you can make money? It's, it's a you know, dope concept. Like, that's the way to go. Like, look for people who, with small followers and stuff like that. I'm not going to forget. I have a good memory. Uh, that's a lie. I have ADHD. I have a bad memory. But <laughs> the fact that um, you're the only one on here talking to me right now. I'm not gonna forget this, you know what I'm saying? Uh so but um definitely like I said tonight when I get to work I'll hit you up. We can chat more about um 
your pricing, um, stuff like that, and you know what 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 can you do to help me out? Now he wants to bring the family outside to continue this rehabilitation. With her uh, leading the pack and being in front of all these people, it's actually good. Yeah, we want her to uh, to build a little bit of that self-esteem a little bit. Yeah. By having Jessica walk Foxy in front of the pack, it will help both dogs improve their behavior. There we go. Little bit, little bit, little. There you go. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. There you go. There you go. See that little bit of pressure right there, then she relaxed. As soon as she goes and says, let's go, then that's when you can say, let's go. Caesar was called by Jerry Seinfeld, whose dachshund Foxy isn't showing love and affection towards him. Progress is being made slowly. There you go, there you go. There you go, good there girl. you go, that's a good girl. To help Foxy with her insecurity issue, Caesar puts her at the front of the pack. Little bit, little bit, little. There you go. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. There you go. There you go. It's a long. Jerry might have thought that we only have one dog to help, but when I came to his home this morning, I knew we actually have two dogs with issues. Come in. Jose gets excited both at the house and on our walk. We need Jerry and his family to recognize when Jose is starting to get worked up and stop him correctly. When they go into alert state, the head goes a little high. So as soon as Jose goes into that alert state, that's, yeah. you because, signal. That's right. You stop the brain from escalating. As soon as she goes into the alert state, you stop her from escalating yeah, by right. taking hold a little bit, firm, not tense. It's like when you ride, you're riding a horse. Your and, and you do this a little bit. That's yeah. it. You just told the horse to come this way. You you get them um, yeah. uh, uh, on the bed. Yeah. yeah. You send them back to where you want them to be. Right there. Then this guy, and then they pass by. That's another option. See that? That was great. You turn, Jerry. Okay. Jerry needs to learn to walk Jose past other dogs so he can handle the situation in the future. That's too much tension. Too much? Yeah. Sure. There you go. You, you felt it? Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it really it, it doesn't have to feel tension unless the dog is about to misbehave. Right. 99% of the time, it's almost, if I have to feel like feather, like, it, like you're just holding a leash. Yeah. But just you're not having contact. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Right there. There you go. Nice. He moved away. Nice. Bring it back to to uh, follow you. Sure, not the leash. There. That's all it is. Nice. Nice. There you go. You just, you just. There you go. Nice. That's how you become a leader. Ah. Huh? No more barking at the park unless you want it. Now I know how to do it. You put your hand like that. You project a strong energy of control, and you make this little sound. And it does something to them. I don't know, I don't even know how it works. You know, it's the pack leader thing. You're showing them I'm in charge here. That was a pit bull, by the way. She just went after yeah. the pit bull. Because she's in front. And they'll stop. <laughs> you had that body language of a person who doesn't walk a dog a lot. <laughs> He's walking like this, look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, the shoulders up. <laughs> relax, arm relax, because that's what you're feeding. Mm -hmm. You know, you're feeding the energy. Short, not tense. Energy. <laughs> this was the first time I knew what is the right technique for walking a dog. Because you see people with dogs on leashes. Now I'm now I'm going to want to stop them all and go. You know, you're doing that wrong. <laughs> that's wrong. Stop what you're doing. That's going to be a problem. The Seinfelds are making progress towards helping Foxy with her insecurities. But Jose needs to be taught how to handle all his energy at the house. What I'm going to do right now is somebody's going to knock on the door, gonna, they're, they're going to ring the bell. Okay, and he's going to go and bark at, at the door. Right. Yes? Yes. So the first thing he has to learn is the human claims that ritual. Remember, you're working with excitement that turns into dominance. 
We already did it outside. It's the same thing. He was barking at dogs, now he's barking at the door. The door, yeah. It's the same thing. It's just a different object that he's barking to. We're just gonna transfer what he just learned. Okay. This is one of the most common problems that dog owners face. And I'm going to show them how to take control of it. I like the slide at the end. Not yet. Just settle. There you go. So if he moves away without coming down, then he, he, he didn't learn anything. He has to move away when he comes down. Just as Jose started barking at the door, I gave him a correction, and I did not allow him to leave until he reached a calm, submissive state. If he moves out of the door when he's excited, we still have an excited brain. If we what? So he moves to the door, right? Yeah. And then I come in, I come in, I stop, I stop him, and I give him some time. You have to calm down, you have to wait. And he could It's normal, because he's venting. Right. Right, he's going down. Once he settles down, then you release the pressure. I see. Then he associates that, oh, okay, so when that guy comes and do this, what he wants is for my brain to be calm. That's when he releases the pressure. So how many more of these do you think? Well, let's see. Let's go. To prevent him from charging the door, I'm physically going to block Jose and give him a correction. I'm going to start with halfway to the door. <coughs> Next, I'm going to cut him off just a few feet away from the stairs. And finally, I'm going to correct him what he's still on the stairs. Jose will eventually learn to be less excited and learn how to deal with the Seinfeld's guest. One more. Caesar is helping Jerry and Jessica Seinfeld's two dogs, who have opposite problems. Foxy needs to gain self-confidence, while Jose needs to learn how to stay calm. One more. Now the brain is not moving. We have the barking, but not the, not the moving. Right. Once Jose understood what the correct behavior was, he immediately got it. Strong leadership is key to a well-behaved dog. Because he's already associated mm -hmm. the, with me. That's not what I want. Their goal is to make you happy. Right. That's it, that's all they want. How do they make you happy? You have to show them how. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh. So, but the only way they can learn is if you teach it in a calm, confident way. You know, most people, when they want to control a dog, they, they yell at the dog. And they get, when they don't get the result they want, they, they get more agitated. And I didn't realize how that's completely counterproductive. So what do we learn today? It is a combination of our calm, yet our assertiveness that's gonna make them both happier dogs and more secure dogs. Yep. And with her, to trust that we have a little distance to go with that. This is trust, this is respect, to respect right. what you said. Right. Respectful. When you watch people with a well-trained dog, you just don't even know how that, that happens. It's like when someone does a car trick and you, you go, that's amazing, I don't know how that happened. But then someone shows you the mechanics of it and it's doable, so. Very exciting. So uh, the nice little homework you guys are gonna do is just put a leash on Foxy, mm -hmm. do what I did with her, and then the doorbell. The Seinfelds have two assignments for homework. I want Jerry to use the leash with Foxy to help her become more confident around him. Second, I want Jessica to work on correcting Jose before he gets too excited by the doorbell. It's important that the Seinfelds work on what I taught them if they really wanna change their dog's behavior. After all, you can change a dog in one day. I thought there was going to be more homework. I'm very pleased with the light homework. I just want to start doing the homework all the time. Mm -hmm. And I just want to get to a totally different place. And I feel like Caesar gave us incredible tools. But well, thank you for having me in your oh, house. Oh, we loved having you. I can wait to see uh, the progress in your dog. Great. All right. Thank you. As long as Jessica and Jerry do their homework, both of their dogs have a chance to behave better with the family. Thank you. We love you. 
A few days later, Caesar receives videos from Jerry and Jessica with an update. Hi, Caesar. I'm here in Central Park with Jose and Foxy. We had a great walk with no barking, no barking at other dogs, no barking when we came out of the elevator. Everything we worked on worked like a charm. Had the greatest time, and I have all these new things that I'm working on with them to have a much more pleasant walk. OK, Caesar, I'm here with Foxy, and we are uh, working through our issues. <laughs> and look at that. She just she just lay, laid uh, down on me, which she has never done in the uh, three years that we've had her. So we just got somewhere right there. Caesar will check in on the Seinfelds to see if they continue their good progress. Two weeks later, Caesar returns to Jerry and Jessica Seinfeld's home to check on their progress with Foxy and Jose. Very good. Hi, Jose. Much better. How are you? How are you doing? Good. Good boy. Good girl. That's right. When I entered Jerry's home, it was good to see Jose's and Foxy just staying in their bed and not running towards the door. Will you tell us how we did? Yeah, I would love to. The first time I saw the Seinfeld dachshund, Jose, it was clear he was an excited dog that needed leadership, especially when the doorbell rings. Now I want to see how Jessica handled the homework. All right, let's take a look. <laughs> I see. <laughs> it's a reaction. Nice. Go to your bed. Go to your bed. <laughs> that was great. When Jose got excited and began to bark, Jessica showed leadership. Yo, it takes time. Like I love I love dogs, you know. And when I train my dogs, you have to train them and it's an everyday thing. It's not just once. Like you gotta take every day to fortify what you want your dog to know. And gave him a direct command. Go to your bed. And he listened. Calm. Calm. I like the silent part of it. Yeah. Now I wanna see if Jerry and Foxy have formed a healthier bond. When I first met Foxy, she was an insecure dog that needed to learn to feel safe around people and more importantly, around Jerry. She got comfortable, yeah. and just, we just sat like that. It was so nice. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That's really good. She's not trying to run away. She there you came go. and she sat on my leg. Didn't even take 10 minutes. It's there just way. nice not to be rejected, isn't it? Yes, that is nice. <laughs> That's everybody's goal. Yeah. Yes, I've been rejected every day. Every day. By this dog. Since we've got her, yeah. she has yeah. rejected you. And yeah. this is such a nice change. Yeah. I really feel great about my future relationship with Foxy because I know now how to relate to her. Yeah, this is really something very different right now. Yeah. In fact, I don't think this has ever happened. No, we're like a family with two dogs. Yeah. It was a pleasure to help you and to help them more than anything. I'm going to go get me a, a dachshund now. Are you? <laughs> I am. I, I send you right? pictures. I send you a picture. If you get a dachshund, we will uh, die. Okay. Oh, I'm going to name him Jerry. Uh, <laughs> 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 yes. He really has yes, name Jerry. He, you know why? Because he also took reverence to the Jose shit. So he didn't name him Jerry. <laughs> that was a funny name for a dachshund. Yeah. It's yeah, they're great. funny. They're funny. Well, That's why I knew it was right. the perfect dog yeah. for him. Yeah. <laughs> I am very proud of Jerry and Jessica. Because of their hard work, the Seinfelds are now enjoying a calmer, more balanced relationship with their dogs. And now all Seinfelds, including the dogs, couldn't be happier. Thank you so much. You really are. Thank you so much. You're a magician. Oh, Thank you're a magician. Oh, it's been time with you. Thank you, sir. Thank so, you. So such a great feeling to be with you. Thank you. See you later, guys. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go, Benson. That was that was fire. That was dope.